Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. Got a user request uh, from a couple folks here, Gentleman Bad Boy and Taro Per Tamaki both asked about uh, some more testing with the Tesla coil insofar as what items will it go through. Uh, the general answer is that it will not go through walls or anything that generally in the past has been considered a wall or a solid object, but as a general rule it also seems to behave similarly to the HBHF in that if your line of sight within one foundation it will damage you. That uh, logically follows why it doesn't work through walls because you can't see through them. It also doesn't work through the floor grate which I'll show you because that actually behaves like a wall. Things like solar don't work through it for example. But other things like the barricades uh, it does work through which I'll show it doesn't work through half walls or quarter walls if you're not line of sight with the uh, Tesla coil while it's on. So let me demonstrate a couple of those. First of all, here's the, the concrete barricade. You can see on the other side of the concrete barricade, I'm still getting hit. I'm in God mode, so I'm not taking damage, but you can tell by the screen shake that I'm getting impacted. So uh, works, yes, through uh, the concrete barricade there. Uh, because concrete barricade does not act like a wall. Same thing with uh, the stone barricade. Again, stone barricade doesn't act like a wall, so yes, it does work through the stone barricade. So if you want to hide these behind a stone barricade, that will work also. And finally, just to show it off, uh, sandbags, uh, same thing. Let me run over and hook this up real quick. And this is all full power, by the way, here. But you can see, yes, it does hit me when I'm on the other side of the sandbags. So all of those do not act as uh, solid walls, so it does work through all those. Now, let's show you what happens through an actual solid wall, like a half wall. Notice I'm within its range, but I'm not being affected. But watch what happens when I jump up. Boom. Boom. So as long as I am line of sight with the base of the unit, it does hit me. I'll come around to the low wall. And again, while I'm standing here, this is a little bit of an exception because it's treating this low wall very similarly to the half wall in that it's acting like I'm behind it. But if I get up at all off the ground here, it does hit me. So the solid walls do block the Tesla coil, but only to a limited degree. As soon as you can see it, as soon as you get over the wall, it does hit you. That's why I said it acts somewhat like the HBHF sensor as it does affect me as soon as I'm line of sight over the wall with it. The, uh, the low wall, as you can see, was a little bit more generous. You could actually stand here and not get hit, but as soon as you leave the ground, you get hit. So uh, that can make it effective. Uh, not so much in like trying to hide it from people because you'll obviously see it over the low wall pretty easily. All right, the other question was the uh, floor grill. Let me go upstairs here and show you that it does not hurt me through the floor grill. I put it on the wall so that it'd be nice and close to me. As you can see, I'm standing right here. It's right there. Again, my theory here is that the floor grill acts like a solid wall. It doesn't let um, light through to solar panels. Solar panels won't work through these, so it's kind of a not really line of sight, even though in game visually you can see through it. It does behave a lot more like a solid wall than a grate. So it does not work through the floor grill. Uh, just to play around here, I put one way up on this wall to see if it would hurt you through the floor. Uh, just like you can sometimes get lamps or lights to clip through if you put them high enough. And the answer there is no. Also, it does not damage you through that floor, even when it's right up against the, the surface there. Uh, the other question was, does it damage you on both floors if you put it on the landing of a stairwell? The answer is yes, because you are within its sphere of impact, both here on the first floor you can see it doesn't affect me right here, interestingly enough, but as soon as I come around the back, if I'm just a little bit away, it does get me. So again, it's almost like some sort of line of sight occlusion there, but it's really hard to tell. But for the most part, it will damage you all the way around the stairwell, 
And if I go upstairs here, oh, that's hard to do. Um, you can see, yes, it damages me up at the top of the stairwell as well. I'm still within that one foundation range, so it does still hit me here. So, <laughs> it also seems to slow down my fall right there, which was a little weird. Um, yeah, that could be fun. I'm gonna play with that a little bit more later. So in general, it does not work through solid walls. It does not work through the half wall or the low wall unless you get yourself up above them, maybe on a box or just jumping up. Uh, it does work through any of the barricade types, concrete, stone, or the sandbags, because those are not generally considered in the game to be solid objects, or at least they're not walls. So uh, the Tesla coil does in fact work through all of those barricade items. So for uh, Bad Boy and Taro, I hope that answers your question. And uh, going to be a lot more playing around to do on different places that you can stick this very interestingly designed Tesla coil. Good luck, and don't suck. <laughs>